Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to some more Fallout New Vegas. We left off at Novak, which uh, is a very lovely place, kinda. Um, first thing you can notice when you come in is that we have the Novak little TV sign. I don't, I don't know why I showed you guys that. It's some, it's some resemblance. Uh, a lot of people can, I don't know. It's a reference to something. For me, I have no idea what that is. But uh, I know a lot of people know the reference, and maybe I have to look that up later so I can explain that to you guys. But uh, there is some reference with that Novak TV sign, that sign. Uh, it's in the front of the fucking whatever. Anyways, we've got some rockets over here. I was going to look over there and see if there's anything, but oh, never mind. We have a whole garage filled with uh, some stuff. We have a toolbox that's actually locked. This is probably the first toolbox that we have ever seen that has actually been locked. To be quite honest. Fucking nothing. This toolbox got some scrap metal. No need for that. We got uh, some reloading bench and a uh, workbench, which I never use. <laughs> so, enough about that. Let's go ahead and uh, start exploring this place. Oh, look who it is. Look who this is. Well, butter my button, call me a biscuit if it ain't my old friend from Good Springs. I don't rightly know. I just got the notion to make my way to New Vegas. Reckon I'll find out when I get there. Novak? Nice enough place, I suppose. But between you and me, when I rolled into town, my skin started to itch. Watch yourself. Likewise, friend, likewise. Is there anything old Vic can do you for? Well, this ain't New Vegas, but I reckon you can find what you need here. Try the office out front. No, don't believe I did. But you might ask around. The Novak folk usually see anyone traveling this way. <laughs> Just stay on my way, robot. Let's do this one. I'll let that slide, seeing as how you got a mind full of vengeance for that no-good polecat and all. Be seeing you. All right, later, Victor. He kind of he's kind of a stalker. We see him a lot of places along the way to New Vegas. I was surprisingly I almost I almost missed him. Novak was the first one. Um I think there's like maybe two other spots and then we actually see him in New Vegas. So uh first thing we can do is uh, loot this bitch's house. It's actually not a house or office. And I might grab something here, or I'm not sure if I will yet. There's something here I need to grab. I always, t I always steal these things. I never find a seller, but I always steal them. <laughs> um, cash register. Got some bottle caps in here. Very nice. A radio that's on, but I can't hear it for some reason. And we got some sunset sarsaparilla caps, or not caps, but uh, bottles. Some coffee mugs. A toaster. Fucking some keys. Like, apparently that we can't pick up or use. Some more final cabinets. And we got this uh, this safe right here. Which is, uh, this is actually ties into a quest later. You can come back in here and get it later. But I'm just going to pick it up now. If it's there. Yes it is. Bill for sale. We'll have to read that in a little bit. So. That is it. That is about all we have in that room. We can go actually explore all these. I don't think I've... I think I've... I don't know. We'll see. I'll go ahead and do that real fast. Manny Vargas's room. Apparently he keeps an unlock and he doesn't care that I go in it. So, kind of weird. Here's Manny. Let's see if we can talk to him right now. What's going on, man? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth, you got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's Boone. You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Lately we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far we've been lucky. Boone's a sniper, same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. 
I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. Me and his wife, we didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. How can you turn up missing? <laughs> Man, you name it. See, I grew up in North Vegas. Me and my cousins, we were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang, I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So, I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Hey, language here, boy. Were they tough? I was in the cons, man. It doesn't get any badder. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, you keep asking about some shit. Oh, it was great. I wouldn't trade it. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to like? Uh, well, I just felt like it was time, you know? Wanted to have a home. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew some of the people there. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened, and people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to secure towns. I still don't know exactly. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Sure I know him. What do you want with him? Doesn't surprise me. The guy seemed like he'd do whatever it takes to get what he wants. Probably makes a lot of enemies. Well, listen, I can definitely help you find him, but I've got problems of my own. Maybe we can do a trade. You need my help. There's something I need, too. Novak, it's home for me now. I want that to be for good. I like it here, and I've left too many homes behind. But the only resource we got here is junk. Without that, people wouldn't have anything to trade. They'd all have to leave. We get most of it up the road from the old rocket test site, but a bunch of ghouls showed up one day and took it over. We can't get in there now. I would, but I've got to watch the road. Caesar's Legion has been taking territory just east of here. They took Nelson. If we let our guard down, they might attack. All it takes for the Legion is for them to sense weakness. Well, they gotta go, or this'll be a ghost town before long. It doesn't matter to me what you do. As long as the ghouls are out of there, that's good enough for me. It'd mean a lot to me. Okay, so if you didn't go to uh, No Bark, you could go to him, and this is another way to get the same quest. So, which we'll be doing, and it gives you an achievement and a very fun quest. So, I highly suggest you do this quest along with every other quest in the game. But in particular, this one is very important. So, and fun. Just uh, we don't need a uh, recap of what we need to do. All right, now we came in here to steal. Oh, you just picked something up. We came in here to steal from him, but he's uh. He's up all night. Dude, this guy doesn't care what I take. He doesn't even care if I sleep in his bed. He doesn't care if I activate his terminal. Or shit in his uh, disgusting toilet. <laughs> uh, let's get the hell out of here. You are one poor motherfucker. Room one of like six down. And then we're going to go talk to Boone. And hopefully it's still nighttime when we talk to Boone. Because, uh... Well, that's the only time he's up in the, the dinosaur's mouth. We got an open door to hotel room. I think you, it's it's red, but I think if there's a guy in here, he doesn't care that you come in. It's kind of weird. Maybe this isn't the one. This isn't the one I'm thinking of. Oh, look at that lamp. Nuka Cola uh, lamp, I think. Could be wrong. Yeah, I don't know. A teddy bear and some vodka. A foot locker that probably has nothing in it. Exactly. I will take this shit. Losing karma, but I don't give a shit. Oh, what has he got growing in his uh in his bathtub? What the fuck? 